Hey, so this video only focuses on slides 17 through 20. Um, these slides are probably the two most confusing ones, I'm going to be quite honest with you. So, or these examples are the two most confusing ones. However, even though they're the two most confusing, they're also the two most used. So that's a little strange, but that's what I've noticed from the past is that we have a hard time with these two concepts. So the first one is idiom. So an idiom is a figure of speech. So these are uh, words that when they're grouped together, their meaning is not literal. So this is like things that we use amongst ourselves that is under, like everyone, it has a universal meaning. So kind of like, oh, that test was a piece of cake. Obviously that cake, that test was not cake. You did not eat it. It wasn't delicious, you know, but we all know that this phrase is universally understood to mean that it was easy. So idioms are those phrases that we use in our speech all the time that when you really think about what they mean, they don't go together, but we use them. So you have some examples. So I have a couple examples right here that have, and this is also, you should have done this in your discussion board if I'm not mistaken. So if you hadn't, go look at that discussion board on Canvas called, you didn't mean that literally, did you? And you can go and see a couple more examples. So it's raining cats and dogs. He saw the light. Get out of my hair. Slowly roll. So stuff like that are all idioms. So they're phrases that we use that does not necessarily mean what it says. Because when someone says it's raining cats and dogs, they do not actually mean that cats and dogs are falling from the sky. They mean it's raining really hard. So right here in this box, I want you to tell me an idiom that you use in your everyday life. So a phrase that your mom uses often that does not necessarily mean what it says. And then tell me what it means because I might not know it. So that's the hardest part about idiom is that unless we all have a universal understanding of it, a lot of us don't get it. Okay, so now we have cliche, which is an expression that's overused to the extent that it loses its original meaning or effect. So this is those really tired idioms where people constantly repeat them over and over again, and when people say them to you, you roll your eyes. Cliches are also really good visually, so I think of cliches more in movies than I do in writing. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I lost track of time. So in yellow box, go find a cliche that you use in your everyday life or that you see in your everyday life um, and tell me a little bit about it. Like I said, cliches are something that you're more likely to know if I showed it to you than if you read it. So just be mindful of that. Cliche is definitely a, more of a... A movie visual thing at least to me so 